Hello friends, so we'll continue with our discussion on signal flow graphs. So here is another signal flow graph here and uh, we have to find out the transfer function. Okay, so we'll use the uh, usual Mason's gain formula approach. Okay, so here first we have to find out the forward paths okay so here as you can see one forward path is r 1 2 3 4 5 and c r 1 2 3 4 5 c Gain is G1, G2, G3. Okay. Next. Another forward path is 1, R1, 2, then 3, then 3 to 5. This, through this uh, G4 gain, minus G4 gain branch, 3 to 5, then C. So, the second forward path is R one two three five C and uh, the gain is minus G one G four. Okay, so these are the two forward parts. There are no more forward parts. Now is the turn of loops. So we have found out the forward parts now we have to find out the loops so one of the loop you can see is 2 3 4 2 starting and ending at the same node 2 3 4 2 loop L1 let's say and its gain is minus G1 G2 H1 another loop is 3 4 5 3 loop L2 see 3 4 5 3 The gain is minus G2, G3, H2. Then another loop is same. Notice 3, 5, 3, 5, 3. Okay. Through this minus G4 path and again through minus H2 path. This, this, this branch. 3 to 5, 5 to 3. So that is the third loop. Let us call it. 3 5 3 so it is g4 h2 minus minus gets cancelled so g4 h2 so third uh, three loops you have identified so far then uh, loop 4 is um, 1 2 3 4 5 1 okay 1 2 3, 4, 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Gain is minus G1, G2, G3. Minus G1, G2, G3. Then a fifth loop is also there. If you see 1, 2, 3, 3 to 5 through this minus G4 branch, 1, 2, 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 1. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 1. And the gain is G1, G4. It is G1, G4. 
g1 g4 because minus g4 minus it gets cancelled g1 g4 yes g1 g4 so see here we have two forward paths and five loops now we have to find out the path factors so path factors it depends on which forward path is touching particular forward path is touching or not touching the loops so to find out whether the forward path is touching or not touching the loop is to find out common nodes between the path and the loop so now first let us consider forward path p1 so r1 2 3 4 5 c compare it with all the loops okay 2 is common there so p1 is touching l1 3 is common here p1 is touching l2 3 is again common in l3 p1 is touching l3 3 is again there 2 3 both 2 3 1 2 3 is also there p1 is touching l4 and 1 2 3 is there p1 is touching l5 so p1 is touching all the loops so the path factor for p1 is 1 minus sum of the loop gains of the loop with the path has not touched as it is touching all the loops so it is simply 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 now the turn of p2 r 1 2 3 5 c again comparing comparing it with l1 2 3 is there so it is touching 3 3 3 it is touching p2 is touching l2 p2 l3 3 is there it is touching l3 and also here it is touching l4 3 is there and l5 3 is there it is touching so p2 is also touching all the loops so it is 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 so path factors have de we have determined forward paths are there loops loop gains are there so now we have to simply put these values in mason's gain formula equation to find out this transfer function of the signal flow graph okay so we have all the parameters required to find out the transfer function using mason's gain formula so as per mason's gain formula the transfer function is given by the summation of the product of the forward path gains and the path factors divided by the graph determinant so here there are two forward paths so two path factors and five loops and also there are uh, no uh, touching or non-touching loops okay because all the loops if you see all the loops they have at least one common node in between them so there are no non-touching loops so that is not there so simply it will be we'll replace the equation as p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 by 1 minus l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus l5 this again there are no non-touching loops because all the loops if you see if you have written it in rough you will see that all the loops they have at least one common node in between them so as they have common node it means all the loops they are touching each other there is no non-touching loops so if we substitute the values we will get here g1 g2 g3 this is minus g1 g4 1 minus g1 g2 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 plus g4 h2 minus g1 g2 g3 
plus g1 g4 so when we'll open the bracket these minus will become plus and this plus will become minus so this is the transfer function of this signal flow graph the system represented by this signal flow graph okay so again uh, all you have to do is identify the forward paths identify the loops find out the path factors then see if there are any touching or non-touching loops whether the loops are touching each other or not then find out the two non-touching loops three non-touching loops in this case there was none so we simply uh, determine the transfer function using Mason's gain formula okay